My name is Christine, I'm 70 years old but only just and I'm a patient at a rugby day hospice where I have been coming to, I've just come to the end of the 12 week course of coming in one day a week and I have had about 10-15 years of bad health which has meant I've not been able to walk properly so um, and then in the last three years I've had two strokes so those are my major problem at the moment but I'm probably a little bit of an unusual patient so they get you to get the best of yourself get the best out of yourself really so why were you referred to rugby well hospice? Um, some years ago we gave some money to Mighton and um, therefore we got an invitation to the open day that they held here about a year or two ago and um, I was always in, come, I come to the hospital a fair amount so I'm always interested in what goes on over here so um, we came and um, there, there were lots of um, volunteer helpers and people here who spoke to us about what went on here and I remember thinking well, I wonder if I could come here and then Camilla Lyons, the sister, came up to me because I was in my wheelchair and, and said, asked what was wrong with me and I said well I'd love, to. she told me more or less what goes on here and I thought well that would be absolutely wonderful, I'd like to do all those things um, uh, but would I be within the guy, you know, in the criteria. So she said, well, what, what, ha what has happened to you? So I started giving her my list of things. And when, when I got about halfway through, she said, you fit our criteria. So I remember being really, really pleased because um, it felt like I'm very restricted with where I go and what I do, but I could come here and do things like having complementary therapies and seeing physios and things um, in a safe environment, somewhere where I felt safe. Mm -hmm. So that's how I, and then she, she then said, the sister then said to me, you need to refer yourself. So I had to ring in and say that um, I'd like to come for the 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, the one day a week for 12 weeks. Yeah. And how did you feel when you were able to start coming to the hospice? Well, I was looking forward to it very much and um, it hasn't disappointed, I have to say. But it's been different in lots of ways to what I expected. Um, I've had a lot more um, help about things that, with things I didn't really know I needed help with. Like I was able to speak to the physio and the occupational therapist came to my house and gave, put me in some equipment that I didn't know was available even. So all that sort of thing was very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. Plus we have a lot of laughs. <laughs> it's not a, certainly not a miserable place and you don't have to have cancer and you don't have to be dying. But you just have to have a long term health problem. So um, that's what... Uh, what I've got. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit more about your last 12 weeks here? Right, well, um, first of all you have a, a designated nurse who sort of talks you in, takes your details to start with and then every time you come in they check up on how you are, what sort of week you've had. So there's a good chance to speak about what's going on medically and uh, I've had a few problems in the time I've been here and I've been found that the nurses are very, very knowledgeable and helpful and um, I found that help really, really, really helpful. And um, I've also had access to uh, spiritual pastoral care which has been very nice and um, the complementary therapies I've found to be very helpful, very relaxing. I always sleep well, it's probably because I'm exhausted when I get home, but I would sleep well after I've had the um, energy therapies that they do here. Um, so um, there is a hairdresser who um, does come in on the odd day. I haven't actually used her, but there is one that comes in. More than anything, it's just the general atmosphere of the place and the, the sort of um, lots of laughter and um, fun, you know, really. Uh, and all the staff are very professional and caring, and there's the volunteers are as well. So there's always somebody to talk to you or, you know, if you've got any problems. So, oh, and I've been having some counselling too here. So um, to be able to do it all in this one setting without me having to be taken all over the place and use my wheelchair and, you know, I can bring my scooter and be quite independent. So, um, yes, can't give it enough praise really. <laughs> and what would you say to anyone else that may be feeling anxious about coming to Mighton as a day hospice patient? Well. I think it's natural to feel a little bit apprehensive because you don't really know what's going to happen. But I would say give it a try because they say to you, if I come for your first session and then if you feel it's not really not for you, then you, you can stop or you can have another 12 after that. So um, 
it's 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 not whatever you think it's going to be. It probably won't be, but um, it'll hopefully be a lot more than you thought it would be, and um, and that is the, the general feeling of care that you get, and and they make you feel very special. You know, there's people saying, "Would you like a cup of tea?" and all that sort of thing. Very very different to my experiences as an inpatient in hospital, I have to say. So it's nothing like that at all. So. Um, and you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Um, they, the various little quizzes and puzzles they do, but you don't have to take part if you don't want to. And there's a quiet room where you can go and have a rest on your own if you want. So really, it's up to you to do what you feel is helpful to you on that day. And then, um, you know, it's amazing. You also pick up sort of tips from other patients about where to find a chiropodist or, you know, all sorts of where to go to buy a scooter and those sort of things. So it's a lot of networking goes on, really.